Welcome to the first Zero Fun Electric Motorcycle News Update for 2026. Uh, we've got some big announcements today, uh, as you've probably seen from CES. Uh, okay, well first off, it's been, a, it's been a bad 2025, not gonna lie, for electric motorcycles. Uh, Moto E World Championship was postponed indefinitely, so it's, it's gone. Uh, Energica entered bankruptcy, uh, no fault of their own, and their parent company was, well, a bunch of fraudsters, I guess, actually. They've been convicted of a bunch of uh, felonies, so it uh, kind of screwed them over. Um, uh, Livewire, Harley-Davidson's spin-off brand, purely electric motorcycles, they sold a few hundred, 300 probably, roughly, for the year last year, like 33 in quarter one. It was bad. And they were estimating 1,000 to 1,500 shipped for the year. So, overall, not looking good for electric motorcycles. Uh, now, uh, Energica did eventually get a, uh, a new owner. Someone did finally buy them. Um, it seems like they're running possibly a bit of a barebone crew right now. They've moved uh, production to Singapore from I Italy. And um, they've started actually production. It looks like the production is back up and running, but they're focusing on parts and supporting current riders, which if you've ever owned an Energica, you know it's... It's a family, like they take care of their, their riders. They're, they're, they're very personal with their, uh, their customers. So, um, they've been scheduling appointments with their customers to see if they need parts or any kind of support. And it's good that they're trying that, but I feel like maybe they're at a very bare bones manning level right now because some customers are reporting they're not getting the calls back. So uh, A for effort, but um, follow through, not so great. Let's see. Oh, uh, dealers, I guess mostly in the EU, I've actually seen are reporting that in the next few weeks, they're going to start getting 2026 Energica models in uh, Xperia's, I believe. So, uh, yeah, production confirmed. It's up and running. And uh, fingers crossed they can start hiring some more people and expanding back out and supporting all their dealers fully again. So that's, that's a little bit of good news for 2026, at least something, right? Um, and I'm sure everyone has seen CES, the Verge TS Pro was announced it has a 33 kilowatt hour solid state battery uh, this is the highest tier option of course it's uh, five thousand dollars more than the base option so it's about 35 i actually expect one out 35,150. um the the battery manufacturer which i guess is fully owned by verge is called donut labs and uh the manufacturer of the battery says it'll do 200 kilowatts with no charge curve it's just fucking full sends and you've got a full battery in like five minutes uh apparently verge claims they don't want customers to be plugging in and like rushing to go to the bathroom and get back to the bike while it's finishing before it's done charging so they limited the speed and according to the videos i've seen it's like 107 kilowatts which sounds about right they're saying it's more like 10 minutes for a full charge uh i don't i don't know if i buy oh it's too fast for our riders i mean let it let it finish that's fine i'll, I'll, I'll I'm not going to get, you know, fined for idle fees for 10, 15 minutes of it sitting there fully charged. It's cool if there's no charge curve, uh, claimed at least. <laughs> um, they also have said 100,000 cycles on the batteries. I, I assume that's 80%, like most of them are, you know, at that point they'll have 80% left. Um, no charge curve, 200 kilowatts, five minute charges. Uh, the bike itself, they're claiming 370 miles of range on a 33.3 kilowatt hour battery, even with some super efficient motor, it's, that's unlikely to be anything besides mixed riding. On the highway, it's probably going to be 150, maybe put a windshield on it and do a little crouching or something, you can get like 170 or so if you're lucky. But it's still, it's respectable, and plus if you can stop and recharge in 10 minutes, Basically, you're guaranteed to go set an iron butt record or ride across the country in two days or something. I mean, it, it's almost no different than just a regular motorcycle at that point, where every couple of hours you could hop off, hit the bathroom, come back, and hop back on it and keep riding. It is it is kind of too fast. Like, I, I don't think I want to ride this on a cannonball run. When I did it, I was able to hop off, put a chair up, sit down, take a little nap, you know, chill out for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour if the bike was really hot and it was a hot day and it was overheating. Um, that's not supposed to be an issue here. There's supposed to be no heat issues. There's no chemical reactions going on in the battery. It's solid state if this is all real. So yeah, this is this is gonna be more like the uh, the cannonball runs where people are using catheters to pee in the bags and stuff, you know? Um, not really my cup of tea, but hey, Verge, if you're out there and listening, uh, give me a press bike and in like five days, I'll have the first fully stock iron butt. Not, not, not looking at that 
fake Harley Davidson one out in Europe that there's no data released on. I don't believe that one. The, the numbers just don't add up anyways. But yeah, the, super simple with this. It's it's basically like doing it on a gas bike. You, you could ride for three hours, hop off for a few minutes, hop back on, ride for three hours. You could do it in, I haven't done the math, 14, 15 hours probably. It, it's easy. Um, I... I, I want to be an optimist here and say that it's probably real. They're probably going to deliver what they've promised here. But I don't know. I've been burned so many times by the solid state promise <laughs> that I feel like there's just no way this is going to happen, right? Uh, it, it, there's a few options here. Either A, they're going to say they're delayed from supply issues or something and not they're supposed to deliver this quarter. They, they're, they're not going to. Or they're going to, but in small batches and at a huge loss per sale. It, it might be 50, 60 grand for the bike, including this battery. Um, and they can't scale it because they don't have a you know real huge factory or anything. So uh, yeah, there's a few other red flags about Donut Labs themselves. They, they don't have any known public patents. And if you look at like, um, what was the list here? If you have Quantum Scape, Toyota, Samsung, they all have patents out there and they've shown off the technology they're hoping to scale up and make happen here. Many of them also have, uh, well, if you're, if you're gonna protect your breakthrough, you, you have to patent it, or else if, if this is actually some crazy new, you know, technology, they, they say there's no, there's no, like, precious metals or any kind of, you know, anything rare in this battery. Like, you could go to any continent and start cranking these things out, is the claim. If that's the case, someone's gonna steal this tech and sell it for billions of dollars. And the fact that they don't have a patent means they're not protected from that. Or it means they're not worried about protecting themselves from that because there's nothing to be protected from because it's just regular solid state batteries that are gonna cost crazy amounts of money and be really slow to manufacture and don't scale. Also, if this was real, you're not gonna sell 50, a few hundred motorcycle batteries in a year with this miracle breakthrough tech. I mean, they've got 30 million, no, 27 million USD invested in them last year. That's they should be this tesla samsung someone should be going to them and saying hey here's billions of dollars give us your technology give us a license to your technology not even an exclusive access to it just here's a billion dollars let us let us build this at our facility why would they take 30 million and then make thirty five thousand dollar motorcycles thirty thousand dollar motorcycles i it doesn't add up it's just too many red flags they've also partnered with uh, Nordic Nano, I guess it's called, which is a solar company with no battery building experience. That's that's who's helping them manufacture this stuff? I, I, the, the number of red flags just kind of piles up. Like, I, I, my spidey sense is tingling. Something's, there's some scam here. There's something going on that's, maybe it's a fake it till you make it thing. Maybe they will make as many bikes as they can, but they're just making them at a huge loss, hoping they can scale it up when they actually start cranking out hundreds of these things every year. I, I don't know. Uh, but what I do know is that as soon as these bikes, if if maybe they can only make a few dozen in the first quarter, as soon as they start landing in customer hands, it's it's going to be news. Like every record is going to get blown out of the water. And uh, I mean, on one hand, I, I like to see that you want to see electric motorcycles positively represented in the news. On the other hand, if this is just another scam company, and the money's just kind of maybe they're hoping for more investors, I, they're going to have to show the investors the technology. Though you can't do that. I don't know their end game. That's what I'm, I'm, there's always some end game you're trying to figure out when they're scamming like this, you know. Um, but hey, yeah, okay. So hopefully they actually deliver a few bikes and we get some good, you know, press for you know the the, the tech, even if it doesn't scale and it's just small amounts. Um, that's a positive thing. I'm trying to stay positive for 2026, right? But <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what's going on electric motorcycles right now. Uh, Energica, hopefully come back up. Uh, Zeros added to the lineup a couple times last year. They're trying to do the uh, micro mobility thing, you know, like little little motorcycles that are for around town and stuff. Those are popular all over Asia and Europe and stuff. So that's that's good for them. They're they're branching out. Um, that's all I've got for right now. But uh, what are your thoughts on the Verge TS Pro? And uh, I almost called it QuantumScape. Uh, Donut Labs, the Donut Labs company that they've created to help make the batteries on only thirty million dollars investment. I, I don't know. What are your thoughts on it? Am, am I off the, I'm off the mark here? Is this a legit company I'm just smashing for no reason? Or are they going to start scaling these things out and start getting some some licenses through uh, through Samsung and Panasonic and start cranking these things out worldwide? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have a good weekend.